Hello, this is Masahiro Miwa. Since Martin Riches allowed me to introduce our collaborative thinking machine project, I will talk about it from my point of view. Before I go into the details of our work, please let me explain about my personal development. As a composer, I have been exploring the possibilities in the field of algorithmic composition. Within my work, I proposed a concept called reverse simulation music, for whose new methodology I received the Golden Nika Prize at Pre Arcs Electronica last year. Reverse simulation music is music where algorithms that have been conceived in computer space and is actually performed in real space. It consists of strict rules which in turn are followed and acted out by people. For example, in the work Matarisama, eight people form a circle and each person performs an X or logical calculation, the result of which is expressed as music with either bells or castanets. One day, as I was watching a Matarisama rehearsals of people emulating computer calculations, I came upon a strange thought. It was a machine that emulated people emulating a computer. Needless to say, a computer is a machine that performs calculations and it has no relation to real objects, and the calculation itself corresponds to a logical world. In other words, it is precisely because rules are not object that, in the case of Matarisama, the rules can be explained with words, making it possible for people to execute them. If that is so, then I reasoned that the calculation should be able to be realized not with words or with a computer program, but with a moving object, a machine. When considering the design for this machine, the first prototype I actually created was driven by water. It was Matarisama dolls. I developed this idea later and completed the final version in collaboration with artist Noriaki Ogasawara and it was exhibited at Ars Electronica in 2003. But unfortunately, it didn't work very well. As Mr. Ogasawara and many other people had pointed out, it was foolhardy plan to make a machine out of wood that was learned by water. Needless to say, when the wood was showered with water, it would swell, warp, and become heavy. And then, when it dried out again, it would shrink, rendering the machine inoperable. <laughs> 